Well, I-270 is shut down as crews start to demolish the old Lindbergh Bridge. MoDOT wants you to avoid that interchange throughout the weekend. Fox News' Mallory Thomas joins us live with how this is impacting traffic. Mallory? This is already delaying traffic eastbound and westbound on 270, and it's really delaying traffic also north and south on Lindbergh. Crews are already out here. They've got the bulldozers out here. We can hear them working on that bridge as they tear it down and work through the weekend again to bring down that old Lindbergh bridge. Traffic cones and road closure signs are up, letting drivers know to expect delays. Rush hour time, it can get a little busy. So a lot of people doesn't know like which way to go because they're not familiar with it. I mean, they should at least make it to where it's a little more clear so drivers can know like where they're going. This video from the Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox shows the interchange. MoDOT says drivers will still be able to travel east and westbound during the closure, but they recommend using a detour. We do anticipate there to be extended travel times for north and southbound Lindbergh. So we have our traffic engineers on site all weekend. They'll be adjusting signal times, but we just have tremendous traffic volume that will be impacted for this. This project is part of major improvements MoDOT is making to 270 in North County and say that the changes will improve traffic flow for drivers. Well, this is one of our busiest interchanges in the entire state. We've done a lot of traffic modeling and safety analysis. And when we're complete with this interchange, the, the safety benefits are going to be tremendous and traffic flow through here will be much improved. Ariel Shaw says the interchange can be a little bit confusing and has this advice for drivers. I just feel like everyone should just really like at night, they actually really pay attention to the road because a lot of people, a lot of people can't see at night and it's going to be really busy tonight. It's Friday, so a lot of cars are going to be out. So I feel like everyone should just pay attention while they're driving. MODA is going to be working hard throughout the weekend to make sure that this is back open. The 270 is back open on Monday morning starting at 5 a.m. This entire project, though, along 270 should be completed by December of next year. Live in Hazelwood, Mallory Thomas, Fox 2 News.